Hey guys, here's some early gameplay footage I've captured on the PlayStation 5 of Stray. I just really wanted to show you guys some of the early footage, which, don't worry, it doesn't have any major spoilers. It might have some footage that you've not seen um, leading up to the game's launch, but nothing major that's going to spoil the game for you. Um, I just really wanted to share this because I've been really, really surprised by how much I, I am enjoying this game. I was obviously intrigued as a cat person, I've got my own cat and you know I was going to check it out because I've got the premium service so I get it for free day one uh, and hopefully we get more games like this coming free day one but I didn't really see anything leading up to the launch to where I was like oh god I, I really need to play this game. I saw you know just some cool footage of someone controlling a cat and I was like yeah that'd be fun to do when I've got a bit of spare time. But diving into this game, I, I, I can tell you honestly that the star of this game is not the cat. The star of this game is this dystopian world that they've created. It is insane how much detail is in this world and how much charm and character it has. Just the design of this world alone is worth, worth experiencing this game. I mean, if you're into cats as well, that's an added bonus because all the cat stuff in this game is... Mwah. It's like, it, it's perfect, it's done so well to, you can tell that whoever it is that's made this game, you know, is a cat person, they love they love their cats, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna say too much more about it, I'll just let you guys watch the footage, but honestly, the, the, I am so surprised about how much, I think my expectations were quite low, which is why I've been, you know, taken aback by how much I've been impressed by this game. Um, just going around this world and, and the, the design of this world and, and how it feels, it reminds me of, you know, like being in cities like Bangkok where like um, it's like futuristic poverty, I guess, is a way of like, like there's so much clutter and so much, you know, like so much just... I don't know how to explain it, there's so much clutter of everything all forced together and all these neon lights, everything, it's just got that that really, really cool, gritty vibe to it and it's just absolutely stunning and when you're exploring this as a cat, as this small creature, um, you get a new perspective on, on, the, on the scale of the city because Whereas one building might be one building high for us, one building is like air vents and pipes and uh, fire escapes and all different levels for a cat. So one building slowly becomes, you know, like multiple stories for this little creature. And it's just insane the level of detail and, and how much charm is in this world. And I really think that's where the the, the star of the show is going to be. It's going to be this this world that they've created for this cat to explore. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now, guys, and just enjoy the footage.
Okay, I'm gonna 